Well, hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your twice-weekly dose of the finest 2A propaganda. You folks probably already know that Massachusetts recently passed the worst gun control this country has ever seen. It's a bold move for them, considering it will get demolished under the Bruin precedent in court, but I just wanted to give a shout out to Sons of Liberty Gunworks for working nights and putting their lives on hold to deliver freedom sticks to the folks behind enemy lines. They report they shipped every single receiver they had on hand that wasn't already spoken for in just two days. Now, under YouTube's new rules, I can't say what their website is or even suggest that you do business with them. So don't spend any money on their products. Very bad stuff for bad people. Maybe consider some nice avocado toast or something. <laughs> Fighting words. But it would be impossible for us to deliver quality two-way propaganda without sponsors, so let's pay some bills. Today's video is sponsored by Franklin Armory. Anything worth shooting is worth shooting twice. And now, Franklin is hooking you up with three factory complete pistol models. Franklin Armory, those freedom facilitators who brought you twice the pews with their binary firing system because it's a scientific fact that bad guys with twice as many holes in them are half as dangerous. So in the unfortunate event you should ever need your firearm for defense, remember, it's math. It can't be wrong. And by Vortex, we've been running their new Defender line of Red Dots hard since before launch. They've found a home on all of our guns, whether for concealment, for competition, or anything in between. They are rugged, they are packed with features, and they flat out perform. With the CCW, the ST, and the XL, there's a dot for you. And let's not forget, there are no questions asked. VIP warranty that covers just about anything. And by Hydra. The Mark 15 Hydra is the most versatile black rifle platform the industry has ever seen. The most you will ever need to convert calibers is a barrel, a bolt, and a magazine well. So Kyle Rittenhouse upset the mob over the weekend by posting he planned to write in Ron Paul come November. That gave people some pretty big feels. But within about 12 hours, he reversed course saying he spoke with Trump's team and they told him stuff. And now he totally trusts Trump to be a good boy. So first of all, Kyle's not wrong about Trump's record on gun rights. He directed the ATF to ban bump stocks by agency opinion, and in doing so, he created the conditions for them to run wild under the Biden regime, issuing proclamations banning braces and private sales and forced reset triggers, as well as restrictions on homemade gun kits. The dude made Feinstein positively giggle with his infamous quote, I like taking the guns first, and he pressured Florida Governor Rick Scott to pass a red flag law, which kicked off a wave of red flag laws in other states. He also failed to take any positive actions for gun rights while his party held both houses of Congress. He used gun owners to get elected and then hung us out to dry, so I understand how Kyle feels. On the other hand, Trump appointed three Supreme Court justices and hundreds of federal judges, and we're reaping the dividends of that now. And while Trump certainly doesn't care about gun rights, Kamala Harris is aggressively opposed to your rights. Then again, the Republicans at least put up some token resistance to the gun control from Obama and Biden while literally cheering for Trump's gun control. And if we show them that they can get elected after betraying us like Trump did, Republicans will only get more and more ambivalent about our rights. I guess what I'm saying is if you want to vote for the lesser of two evils, I don't blame you. You see those two weevils, Doctor? I would choose the right-hand weevil. Do you not know that in the service, one must always choose the lesser of two weevils? And if you would prefer to sit out or write in a candidate rather than reward an anti-gun politician, I can understand that too. Either way, it is your choice to make. And it was wrong to bully Rittenhouse for his principled stance, particularly for a group of people who claim they don't like cancel culture. There is a strong lesson to be learned, though, about what the mob is willing to do to people in the public eye and how quickly it will turn against you. Kill the monster! But what I really want to know is what did Trump's people say to Rittenhouse? Because it would have been a, you know, really good opportunity for Trump to regain some of that trust he lost from gun owners. Christopher Rodriguez used to be a public defender from Florida, and within him burns a raging hatred for communism that could blot out a thousand suns. I hated the lot of them. 
He just pleaded guilty to trying to blow up a statue of Lenin and Mao Zedong in 2022 and the Chinese embassy last year. In the first incident, he placed two containers of binary under Lenin's chin, then climbed up on a roof and popped them with a rifle. Apparently, the statue is skookum as frig because it did very little damage. Then in September of last year, Rodriguez drove to Washington, D.C. to try to do the same thing to the embassy of West Taiwan. He placed a backpack with about 15 pounds of spicy kitty litter by a lamppost 12 feet from the embassy, but this time he didn't have his dope, and he hit the concrete in front of the bag and fragments of bullet and concrete broke the plastic bottles, scattering the bang dust all over inside the bag fired several more rounds, but failed to let the magic smoke out, so he ran away. ATF agents later identified him because he left DNA on the bag, and he had been arrested in Los Angeles in 2021 with a handgun and several containers of Boom Boom. So he's no Jed Eckert, but he does hate a commie. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. Commie bastards. And many Florida men have a relative who suffered under Castro who can tell us exactly how worthy of hatred communism really is. The Second Amendment Foundation beat Maryland in federal court, striking down three separate provisions of their ban on carrying in public places. It had been illegal to carry in locations selling alcohol for on-site consumption, private buildings or property without the owner's consent, and within a thousand feet of a public demonstration but the judge permanently enjoined Maryland from enforcing those statutes. In addition to the obvious Second Amendment problems with this law, the last part is a blatant First Amendment violation. To help the SAF keep crushing statists in court, please go to saf.org donate and give generously. Come on, you were just gonna spend that money on black hockey tape with cool branding anyway. Gundustry News. Franklin Armory just announced three new factory complete pistol models. The C-12 has a 12 and a half inch barrel. The C-7, not to be confused with the Kanakastani C-7, has a seven and a half inch barrel. And the Salus has a billet upper and lower along with a 12 inch barrel. They each come with an SB tactical pistol brace and of course, a Franklin Armory binary firing system. Now I would tell you how much they cost and where you can find out more info, but that's against the rules now and they probably don't even have a website anyway. Besides, guns are, you know, icky. And now, for your moment of zen. I ain't sure what HD is, but the doctor just called and said I got 80 of them bitches. Woo! Hey friends, do you like pews and other pew related things? Would you like to help us keep delivering you pure and cut American pew paganda at the low, low price of $3.99? We literally couldn't pay the bills without our sponsors, so do us a solid and get yourself something nice from them. You deserve it. I love you. Dung, 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 dung. I'm doing that on purpose. It's actually the right way to say it, I think. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be dung, but um, also communism is poopy, so.